Okay, today we're going to look at desktops. First I'm going to go to my actions and create a file. This is just an action. You don't need to worry about this. It just automatically creates a new file with these dimensions. Now, what you want to do is, you, up here in the upper right corner you see this little button here. It's actually your workspace. You can make a custom workspace. So let's say you want, we'll start with blank. Blank is basically actually shouldn't have anything in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these by dragging them off. Dragging them off. Let's say you have nothing to begin with. Just drag all these pieces off. I'm going to start from scratch. Close, close, close. There we go. Gra gradually getting rid of all of our tools. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Oh no, look, everything's going away. No, oh, now we have nothing. So, what do we do? Well, we go over here to Window, and first, I guess I should reset this and save this. So, I want to save. Let's say, uh, da, 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 da. reset blank, new window, new workspace. We're going to call this new workspace, and I'm going to name it uh, test as my workspace. And uh, it says here, panel locations will be saved in the workspace. Keyboard shortcuts and menus are optional. So we want to keep the keyboard shut. Uh, and uh, menu items. We'll make sure we want to keep those. So we save our new workspace. Uh, actually, what I should have done was I should have saved it later. So we have to build it first before we save it, but that's okay. So we're going to go Windows. And the, the main windows we want are layers. These are the big ones. There are layers. And we want What do we want next? We want styles. That's okay. We want our navigator window. We want to definitely need that. Navigator. So they're now all free floating windows. Uh, so let's see. Maybe I want the navigator above the layer panel. How do I do that? Well, let's take this and drag it up here until we see a blue line and then snap it and now they're together and they snap together and above styles maybe I want to have my swatches so I'm going to go to swatches and I think maybe instead of having them as separate tabs maybe I'll I'll drag the swatches into here so that it becomes a tab within this one window so we want to want text we want type Let's see, where's my type, 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 character? We definitely want character. So that we can have text, and then we want to have a uh, paragraph. So we want a paragraph in here. Now I'm going to put these together like that, and then I'm going to go to character style. There's character style, character styles. And this I'm going to drag over here. And then I'm going to go to Paragraph Styles. And we're going to drag this down here into the Paragraph Style. So we have Paragraphs, Paragraph Styles. You might want to rearrange this if later you find out your workflow doesn't work too well with that. So you can always drag them out and rearrange them. Now to make it all piece together, we want to take this and drag it over to the very edge and it goes in its window here and it snaps everything else to the left. So this is, your work area is now here. I think that I want to put my navigator, I don't like the navigator here. It's too much space, so I'm going to put my navigator on top of this. And then I'm going to put this over here like that. So how does that look? That looks a little better, but there's a lot of stuff here for the layers. A lot of room. But you can rearrange this any way you like, and then you 
come over here and you go to uh, new workspace and you want to say test one save the keyboard shortcuts and the menus and then if you go back and you choose test oh, oh why did it do that that's weird huh say reset test there then you hit reset test and you go to test one it shows test one reset test one doesn't do anything, but if you go back to blank, blank is blank. Oh, because it remembered. It remembered me removing all the tools. That's why. That explains everything. So now you got motion, which includes your timeline down here, if you want to do an animation. You got 3D, which brings up the 3D tools. But the, all of these tools are under the windows here so that you can build your own workspace the way you like it.